technical writing and creative writing. So technical writing is obviously it has a lot of rules and regulations. It has like a lot of uh, terminologies and uh, everything involved in technical writing. Whereas creative writing is just written to entertain, to bring out the creativity, to connect with different people. It's not bound with any rules, any, you know, rules and do's and don'ts and nothing of that sort. So if you are think you're good at writing, definitely you can in more in, get into creative writing. But not everyone can get into technical writing because it is people who are into that industry, who are into that particular uh, understanding of terminologies who can get down to technical writing or writing into subject matter experts and that sort. Yeah, and also uh, let me tell you, Google is, we were talking about keywords and all of that. So Google is biased towards the content that kind of gives hints and solutions, all right? So you've seen a lot of these titles that are um, 10 quick tips to lose weight or how to do this and you know five life hacks or five ways you didn't know or five things you were doing wrong all your life. All of these kind of titles, in fact, you yourself would be more interested in clicking on titles like these than your mainstream titles. Even Google is biased to titles that are solution based and solution oriented. So you need to give out uh, titles with numericals because the, I'll tell you the ultimate thing is see, we all are lazy right? So even we need to write for people who are lazy, for lazy readers. Behind this is if you say five easiest things to do or uh, five ways to five ways to better your blog or 10 best tips to uh, get your creativity in and stuff like that. So let me just click onto this website and let me just read the subheadings even if I don't bother reading into the content entirely. They'll be like, let me just see what these five ways are quickly. And then let me switch over. But still they're counted as traffic each time they enter your website, right? And another thing is, another concept is your clickbaits. I'm not sure if you're aware of clickbaits or not, but when I give you this example, I'm sure each one of us have been there and we kind of know what clickbaits are. So clickbaits are basically um, your title is completely different with what your blog is about. So say, for example, even your YouTube video, the title says something else, but when we click on the video, it is something else, kind of like, you know, they've tricked us onto watching their video or they've tricked us onto us uh, entering their website or visiting their website. 